Yo, what's up guys, Wagby here, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can stream to YouTube or Twitch from your Xbox with alerts and overlays. And with this method, you will not need a capture card, but you do need a computer. And don't worry, the computer does not have to be good at all. Since you're not gaming off of it, you're only streaming. So it could be a laptop or anything. All you need to do is run the streaming software. And you have to make sure that both your Xbox and your computer are both on the same Wi-Fi network. So now what you want to do is open up any game on your Xbox, so the game that you want to stream. And then now it's time to go over to your computer. So once you're on your computer, after opening up a game on your Xbox and making sure it's connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your computer, you want to see if you have the Xbox Console Companion app. If it doesn't show up searching it here, then what you want to do is go over to the Microsoft Store and search Xbox Console Companion. It'll come up right here. It's free to download. Click Get and install it. It's a very small app, only around 14 megabytes, and click Launch. Once it's open, if it's not already signed into your Microsoft account, just sign into the one that's on your Xbox and go down here to this connection tab and see if your Xbox shows up. And it should show up if it's connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And then click connect. And here it says what I'm playing, Minecraft, and click stream. So as you can see, it's streaming my Xbox screen wirelessly. And the quality is actually pretty good. So I'm just gonna click stop streaming for now. And now you need to make sure you have a streaming software downloaded. If you don't have like Streamlabs OBS, OBS, or you know, any other streaming software, then open up any browser. And for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna do Streamlabs OBS. So search Streamlabs OBS, go to their website and click download. Once you have it open, you have all the features as if you were to be streaming a PC game. So you can have multiple scenes, you can have overlays, alerts, all of that. But this video isn't a complete tutorial on Streamlabs OBS or regular OBS. So if you want a tutorial on that, then you can just go search around on YouTube. There's tons of tutorials and walkthroughs that'll explain any questions that you have about this software. I'm just gonna show you the basics on how to get the Xbox stream onto here. So I'm just gonna create a new scene. Uh, I'm gonna call it Xbox. And then you want to add a new source and go over to display capture and click add source. Now, as you can see, it's displaying my screen. But if I open up Xbox console companion and click stream, it's kind of hard to tell. But Streamlabs will be displaying my Xbox screen because if you hover over, you can see that right now it is showing my Xbox screen. But if I go back over to it, obviously my display is going to change. So you'll only see like my monitor screen. That's why it'll be easier with two monitors, but one monitor can still get the job done. And then what you want to do is add any things that you want, like an alert box, add anytime someone subscribes or becomes a member or donates from YouTube, it'll show up on the screen. Or if you're on Twitch and anytime someone donates bits, subscribes, donates, it'll also show up on the screen, which is why alert boxes are super cool. And you can customize this how you want and place it wherever on the screen you want and you can also add any of these things here but once you have everything set up how you want then you just want to click go live then you can add all your titles your settings here thumbnail and then click confirm and go live and then once you're live just open up console companion and you're good but anyways, guys, if you found this video helpful, then make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.